merge two pitches. I'm about to break down how to merge two pitches with different lighting to be both of one lighting. Uh, so first I'm going to start with this Larry Joint image. Uh, I'm going to make it match the color of the background. Uh, this Larry Joint image actually came from this image. I make it just bigger and fuller so that way you can see it. But it originally came from this image. I took all the background away. As you see, it's daytime. And I want to switch it to this uh, image where it's nighttime. And it kind of looks like he's sitting in front of this um, gate where a tree is. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, uh, if the image isn't already, so I'll go ahead and convert it to a smart object. I like to personally duplicate. That way I don't mess up the original copy of the image, cut off the other image. Uh, go in and rasterize this newer image um, so that way we can affect with the image adjustments uh, as you can see beforehand I'll take that away uh, when the image is still a smart object you can't go in and adjust the match color that's the tool I'm trying to use so I'll go back and make that uh, rasterize come into adjustments and go to match color once I'm at match color go down to source source would be what project you're working in so what PSD uh, currently I'm in the screenshot one uh, I imported the image of Larry and then you can find the layer that you're working on so the layer that I'm working on uh, well the layer that I wanted to match to would be this Zoltan uh, I got the image from Unsplash so you click on that as you see it kind of makes the image already very dark so another thing you do, you go to neutralize, you click that, that way it helps with the color fading. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can just do other things. And I mean, that kind of still kind of gives you that same feeling you might want, but I personally, I like to neutralize the color. That way it kind of feels like it gives me a better blend of both colors. Uh, sometimes I play with the luminance uh, just to give it uh, either more brightness or darkness to the image. So I kind of want it to be down a little bit more. Uh, the color intensity is fine to me. Uh, you know, raising it or taking it all the way is just like the saturation of the image. Uh, so I usually leave that at about 100. And then I normally play with the fade and the luminance. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to make it probably about right there. Uh, give it a nice nighttime feel to it. Uh, I'll bring it up a little bit. So yeah. And then you do okay but you know you're still not finished so i'm gonna go in add a curves to that with that curves i'm gonna make that only adjustable to the image itself so i made a clipping mass of it and now i'm just going to set an anchor up top uh, to keep that brightness where it's at that way i can mess with the shadows of the image uh, i want to kind of bring down the shadows just because if you look in the image you can kind of see it's kind of bright on this side but darker on this side so I kind of want to mess with that. Uh, let me see if I can bring up the brightness how I want to. So brightness over there, you know, bring the darkness down a little bit. And then I also want to add a levels uh, and clip and mask that as well. I'll bring up this far side, which is the brighter side, uh, kind of bring a little light back into the image. But also I'll still take down some of those shadows and leave it kind of like that but i also because it's a layer between these two uh the background and the image of larry i want to add another layer and use this layer to kind of bring in some light to the image so i have the brush already set uh at the lowest uh hardness for the brush i have the opacity down to 20 just so that way when i make a mark it doesn't make it so full like how it could be like that I'm gonna take it down to 20 that way when I'm doing it it's kind of just a slight you know a slight uh, image not a slight image but a slight brightness to the image and basically I'm just trying to brighten up this left side behind Larry kind of bring a little light to it I'm gonna come over here to the different what is it screening modes I think or blending modes that's what it's called and I'm going to take that down to maybe soft light. That way it kind of brings in a soft light behind them. And then you can also bring in maybe a clipping mask on Larry and then kind of brighten up the side of him. 
that way it kind of helps brighten up that side of the image as well because you want it to you want it to basically this little light right here you want that light to kind of be showcased throughout this this side of the image like i say so i'm gonna do that come back up to this one and bring that back down to soft light that way it doesn't too heavily uh make that picture bright so now you can kind of see it kind of looks like that light is hitting larry on this left side of him and the other side of them is still a little dark. So I kind of like that. And, you know, just kind of bring a little light to all over here as well. Uh, yeah, bring some light over here. Because as we can see, this side, uh, that's too much light. So yeah, just bring some light to this side of the image and allow that to be what it is. Sometimes I like going in with a, oh, that's too big. But I like going in with a bigger brush, that way it kind of spreads that out a little bit more. But yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling that. Might come in with an eraser and then just kind of erase some of the outskirts of it. Uh, just to kind of make sure it's how I want it to look. But yeah, I'm, I'm really a fan of how this came out. And that would be kind of how you go in and edit up the... Uh, an image to your liking to match the colors.